All right, so we're in spectator buffering now. We'll go ahead and click that main screen so we get a bigger view of the game. By the way, guys, what do you think of my current setup here, my current stream overlay? The uh, I like to call it the cityscape. The better, by the way. So, yeah, I saw. I saw. I'm, I just went through spectator buffering, so. Yellow persuasion, if you will. All right, so we got Punktronica in his Alpha Striker, and then we got Valley Girl Valley in Valley his Valley. in his uh, Striker here too, his Black Ops Striker. Well, of course Valley's gonna win. He plays all the time, man. D don't you know he eats, sleeps, and breathes air mech? So yeah. 15 seconds left on that pregame clock. It looks like we have plenty of money makers out on the field for both sides. From what I've heard lately of speak in the mumble, eh, you only build them at beginning game. You don't replace them later on. So yeah, here we go. It does look like Valinor dropping some uh, some infantry on those bunkers and uh, blowing wait, wait, up some mines. All cheesing. I like how he says he's not cheesing. <laughs> And we got Punktronica there. Telling us what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Apparently Valinor cheesing. Here he goes. Here he goes. Cheese, 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 cheese. There it is. Cheese, 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 cheese with the jump us. The jump us. The jump in. Jump a jump us. So yeah. This should be a pretty uh, interesting game here. And Valinor. One of the guys who actually won the uh, the Friday Night Flights season one last season still hasn't been a season yeah, two. Have you like that, Valinor? Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Did you kill him? Did you kill him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, there it is. First blood punk tronic on Valinor. Ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, I think uh, that means that Punktronica is going to move down, do a drop on that corner. He does. And hitting that new weak spot. So Bucky's coming out for Valinor, dropping him down. Uh, one of them going after Punktronica, but uh, those two Dillos now are down. But that took a nice little, you know, 120th chunk out of that health for Valinor. And Punk's still hanging around, doing a little bit of damage there. Didn't manage to take out any of the... Uh, the money makers though and Valinor dropping a couple more jumper guys and Dillo's coming out for Punktronica and Valinor running away is he gonna die is he gonna die no he makes it back alive living Valinor living Valinor ooh what is that a little is that the tech pod that I've heard so much about that uh, I've never seen before in my life. So yeah, it looks like Valinor still trying to harass those outposts of Punktronica. I think this is just going to spend a little bit of his money and uh, really not do anything to Punk. Punk's going to get him. Punk's going to get him. He does for the second kill of the game. You can hear me downstairs. She's asleep. She's, she's such a hard sleeper, I'm not going to wake her up. Yeah, okay. So yeah, Punktronica looking to do another harassment here on that corner. Managing to get in two more Dillos going after that tech pod right now. It does look though like Valinor going in to bomb those extra Dillos that Punk was building up. It looks like he might just get them. Kaboom! And a little bit of sword swiping. Punktronica is going to high low him a little bit, but Valinor going to run all the way back to his uh, his outpost. No, 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 no. Oh, and Punk trying to pull the old transform, but transform off the edge technique that has, you know, just spelled so many people's deaths in the past. Did not manage to do it on Valinor though. 
Yeah, that's an old school trick. Valinor with tons of ping. Look at that, 990. It looks like we have caught up at this point. Dude, he's he's lagging bad, isn't he, Punk? I'm like, what the fuck, man? I think he's doing it on purpose. He doesn't think he can win. Oh my god, Valinor, stop downloading your prawn. Oh, he finally came back down, huh? So yeah, we got a little bit of a fighting over here between Valinor and Punctronica. Valinor going back up on his ping again. Oh, Valley. Valley girl, Valley girl, Valley girl. Ugh. And Valinor going for the uh, the little cheap shot here on the really his little bullets look like they're water guns splashing up on these uh, these money makers right here. And there go two two money makers down, one more still up, but uh, Punktronica down at the bottom, making a base drop right on that corner again and doing damage. Valinor down at half health now. Those uh, ninja drops coming in handy for Punktronica. He's taken down quite a bit of health at this point off of Valinor. Valinor might think about putting a little bit more uh, fort defense. And that might help him out a bit. Nobody has really touched this middle outpost as of yet. It is a power station. Um, could give somebody a good advantage in the uh, the power, the recharge rates. So right now, Valinor still doing a little bit of lagging every now and again. But uh, Punktronica chasing him around, hoping he can get him. Oh, he got the stupid little boxes. So stupid. And yeah, the box. The box was stolen. He got the box. Valinor was always trying to get the box, and this time he actually got it. Granted, it wasn't the box he's usually trying to get. So yeah, um, this game has pretty much turned into a stalemate at this point, except for uh, Punk's constant harassment on the uh, corners of that, uh, that fortress there. So we will see though, we do have a push of Dillos coming here and a Golly. Looks like Valinor finally going to make a push here on this middle outpost. And it is surrounded at this point. Valinor just doing as much as he can to uh, try and get that upper hand with that middle outpost. But look at that punk dropping a Golly on the corner there taking out quite a bit of health off of that fortress of Valinor looks like Valinor getting close to one third left now but uh yeah I mean oh and look at that another Punktronica back to do more damage and trying to take out the golly that Valinor dropped but right now Valinor in a lot of danger as you can see his health still ticking down right now Oh, a drop or two more, and this game could be over. You could see Punktronica beating Valinor at this point. Oh. Crazy. So yeah, Valinor did manage to take the center, but at what cost? He was at half health before he made that push, and then suddenly he's down at probably a quarter. So he lost another quarter of his health just because he decided to make that push to mid. However, if he were to make a push right now with what he has, mm, it's just a Dillo wall that's uh, that's blocking him. Oh, here goes Punk again with two more Dillos. Two more Dillos on the other corner. And that Dillo is firing past the golly. Both of them firing past the golly. One down. Oh, and that little curve on Valinor's health about to go away. It's barely even there at this point. I mean, I'd say, yeah, he, he's really hurting at this point. And there is a golly there. It looks like uh, Valinor had to chase him off. Oh, Puck's going to go down. 
doing a little Viking dance and does go down at that point. So the creeps up at the top of the outpost here, those soldiers went ahead and took him out. And that Gully right now being taken care of by Valinor. Valinor almost dead from that Gully. Oh, but look at this, another Gully from Punk. And it's set on attack, so... Oh, there it is. That's, that's GG right there. That's GG. Goodbye, Valinor. Or not. Oh. Oh. Oh, Valinor managed to defend that. Electronica doing his best to just kind of get any last minute drops in on that fortress. Yeah, this this is going to be a close one for Valinor if he can manage to pull it out. He needs to build some defense, some more defenses on his fortress and then build up some stuff here in the middle where he can send it out. But check out this two golly, two seeker, two ratchet kind of just, you know, huddle right here. That might, you know, easily take care of any type of push that Valinor is thinking about having. But here we go. That golly on the front door doing a little bit more damage. We see that curve now in the health is gone for Valinor. He's just got a little bit more to lose, and that would be game. It looks like both players now lagging, and perfect drop there by Punktronica. Valinor cannot get in between that golly and that corner. He's killed as quickly as he can. He does manage to get it and Punktronica at that point, but... Uh, yeah, still a little sliver left, and Punktronica's harassment definitely winning this game so far. Punktronica going along the outside, but those gullies there are going to give up his position, though he is going to get in and get that last drop in. If he can, he does. It is on the edge, and that is going to be GG, ladies and gentlemen. No... No, maybe not. Punktronica goes down to the Hyper Dillo, and there's a little itsy bitsy piece of green just left there. Yeah. Punk's just gonna run up and land and kill it. <laughs> oh, Punk. Oh, Punk. Valinor, you're taking that outpost, but for why? Just take, some, just grab some Dillos, Punk, and go drop them. That's all you need to do. Though he is going for that front door. Is he gonna get it? No, he still didn't get it. <laughs> oh, Punk just wants to take out that uh, fortress with his guns. Looks like Valinor up to seven. And there goes Punk again. Land, and there it is. There's GG right there. Congratulations, Punk. Way to harass. <laughs> oh, he was 2 and 7, though. So, yeah, there's another I, game. I'm, so, I'm going to go to the other room if you want to. <laughs> you want to go uh, talk to Valinor? <laughs> Punktronica going to talk to Valinor at this point.